welcome back everyone in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download air quality data particularly NO2 captured by Sentinel 5P using Google Earth Engine and later on we'll be seeing how to download it and, uh, we, are going, and we are going to visualize it in a GIS platform so let us begin so as you know the first step will be defining our study area so you can define your study area by using this uh, features draw a rectangular or polygon or add marker so in this case I am going to use a shape file which I have uploaded to the Google Earth engine so let us first add it you can see this is the shape file so this is the view of the shape file you can directly import it you can see here it has been directly imported and uh, a variable has been defined called as table so this is this table represents the shape file if you want you can change it to the original name also so let me change it to tn same shape file name and uh, in order to define our area of interest we are going to define a variable called as geometry so the geometry is equal to so our study area is this uh, boundary tn boundary so I'm going to just give the name here same name right so our study area boundary will be coming in the geometry now after that you can see we are going to load the sentinel 5p no2 data sets so you can easily search in the search option by typing in sentinel 5p and uh, you can see the results has been coming up and you can see here sentinel 5p offline nitrogen dioxide if you just click on it you can uh, get to know more about this data set so this data set provides a offline high resolution imagery of NO2 concentration nitrogen oxide are important traces gases in earth's atmosphere present in both troposphere and stratosphere they enter the atmosphere as a result of anthropogenic activities notably fossil fuel combustion and biomass burning it also includes some natural process like wildfire lightning microbiological process and soil so you might be thinking why the no2 study is important because it causes a severe health effect as you can see here it has been listed increased inflammation of airways worsened cough wheezing reduced lung function increased asthma attacks and greater child likelihood of emergency department and hospital admissions so it is very important to monitor the nitrogen dioxide level in the atmosphere so you can just copy the image collection close it and here we are going to define a variable called as NO2 and you can directly paste the image collection directory and after that you can use the filter bound to filter it based on the geometry and followed by that you can filter uh, you can use the dot filter date to define the date period from which from which month to which month that is starting date to ending date so the sentinel 5p data mission started from the year 2017 that is uh, uh, later on during the to the year 2017 now after that we are going to select you're going to use this function dot select to select this particular tropospheric NO2 column number density and after that we are going to reduce the uh, reduce to one image using the mean function so once again we are defining a variable called as NO2 mean so you can see here NO2 dot mean uh, why I am using this mean is because there might be some data gaps uh, due to cloud coverage and uh, limited number of scans per day 
there might be some uh, data gaps so in order to average the such things we are using the mean function and you can see followed by that we are going to use dot clip uh, to clip using our study area boundary now followed by that you can see we are going to define the visualization parameters so for that I have just uh, defined a variable called as visualization parameters and you can see the minimum and maximum values so the maximum value represents more NO2 pollution level as you can see here you can see the minimum and maximum value now after defining it we are going to use some color scheme for it as you can see here it is starting from black to red so black represents a very low level of NO2 concentration followed by purple blue crayon green yellow and red and after that we are going to center the map and add layer so we are going to uh, center the map based on the study area that is uh, study area and the defined data set so we are going to just use the study area boundary to center the map and we are going to add the layer that is the NO2 layer so in order to add the NO2 layer we are defining map dot add layer so here we are going to once again define and tell which layer should be added that is NO2 mean that you can find at the top we have done the mean for the uh, images from this state to this state and we have used the clip function over here so that image will be added and you can see we have set the visualization parameters previously we have set the visualization parameters we are just showing it and telling when you are adding the layer these uh, visualization parameters should be included it will be based on that color scheme the layer will be come up and you can see finally we have allotted a name layer name for it NO2 mean and finally we are going to export the image to Google Drive using the function export.image to drive so the image name is nothing but NO2 as you can see here same image and in the description you can uh, give any uh, description for it and in scale I have given 1000 so the actual resolution of image varies so if you just go down so Tompi is the sensor used in the Sentinel 5P and you can see it uh, captures a wide range of pollutants such as NO2, ozone, aldehyde, sulfur dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide likewise and you can check the resolution of this imagery so this image is 7 kilometers into 3.5 kilometers resolution with the potential to detect air pollution over individual cities now after that we are going to we are going to define the region so the region is nothing but our study area boundary and you can see the maximum pixels can be exported using this option and finally the file format is geotiff geotiff right now let us run the script and you can just check in check in the results of the NO2 concentration for the study area so if I zoom into this particular location this is a main city and you can use the inspector tool to inspect the values so using this inspector tool you can identify the values so you can see here the value is coming around 0.001 so you can check in the value ranges of plain rural area moderate urban and heavily polluted regions And you can check on this value also from here this is coming in 0.001 so some part of the study area is coming in the 
uh, modern urban where you can see the pollution level now let us see how to export this move on to the taskbar section and click on run and you can see here we have already alerted some name to the task you can see the scale if you want you can change the projection also uh, at the script end now let us give a name for it and after that we are going to export it as a tiff image so click on run to begin the process you can check the progress in the taskbar once the export has, export has been done click on open in drive so in ge export let us check it it's not there here so you could see the data over here let us click and download it so now let us uh, use the gis platform to add in the data set which we have downloaded and auto sentinel 5p now you can set the symbology for this layer by going to properties so here let us uh, give some color scheme for it and let us invert the selection click on apply and click okay now you could see these regions has the higher concentration of no2 so in order to remove this background color let us remove this image so open our catalog and uh, you can see where the file has been downloaded right click on it and go on to properties and here you could find no data value click on edit use compute and here click on zero click okay apply it and click okay now you can directly drag this image over here and now you can see the background image has been removed once again you can symbolize the layers with the dis different color schemes as you can see here so if you find the data more pixelated you can uh, change this setting for that so go on to display here you can choose bilinear interpolation or uh, QB conversion there will be a slight difference in the image clarity so i hope that you have learned how to download air quality data from google earth engine if you have any other doubts on this you can ask in the comment section i'll be uh, surely surely i'll paint your questions thank you goodbye